Hollywood actors are officially on strike after contract negotiations broke down on Thursday. They now join television and film writers who've been on the picket line since May, a move that's forced studios to bring production to a halt on some of your favorite shows. And it's not just impacting Hollywood to talk about the impacts this move is having on Canada's film industry. Actor President Eleanor Noble joins us. Welcome to Global News, Eleanor. Hi, thank you for having me. Let's talk about this strike from the Canadian film industry perspective. What has the response been in our country, specifically from ACTRA? Well, just to say, I'm the national president of ACTRA, and I speak on behalf of ACTRA, and we stand in solidarity with the WGA and SAG-AFTRA during these really trying times. Our heart goes out to them. It's not easy to be on a strike. Nobody ever wants to make that move. We feel the pain as well. We are we have been in a 15 month lockout in our commercial sector. So we, we know what this feels like and we are still in that 15 month long lockout. Summer is the busiest time for filming in Canada. How will this strike affect Canada's film industry? So we have already started to feel the effects when the writers went on strike and we are expecting to feel even more effect as uh, we go along in the SAG after strike. We hope obviously for, for any union that it doesn't last long. We hope that they are re able to resolve the issues. Their issues are our issues. When it comes to Canadian production across the, the country, that will remain ongoing. So Canadian production will not be affected by it. But anything that has American writers or SAG after performers will be affected. And we are already feeling that. Talk to us about what some of those issues are. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, the, the the whole business model has changed now that they're streaming. Uh, they're, they're not matching inflation. We know that there's huge high profits being made in streaming now. It's a different, different way of providing entertainment to people. And they are not compensating us in the same regard. And uh, it, it, it's just not right ethically and morally. And also uh, issues when it comes to AI, artificial intelligence, we make our living off of our, our, our face, our voice, our image. That is our product. And when it comes to AI, there needs to be control, there needs to be consent, and there needs to be compensation. You can't just steal our image and use it to make profit for yourself. So guardrails need to be put in. Their issues, again, are our issues. We, we stand on the same platform and we stand in solidarity with them and for all of their fights. Eleanor, how long do you see the strike lasting? I mean, the Toronto International Film Festival is around the corner, I believe in September. It draws in hundreds of stars. It's a huge boost for the Toronto economy. Could that be affected? Uh, it, it, it's hard to say at this moment. We never want a strike or a lockout to last any length of time. We always want to get back to the table as soon as possible and to make a good deal that's fair and respectful for everyone. So we are really hoping that SAG-AFTRA and the Writers Guild get back to the table and make that deal. And the same for ACTRA in Canada, where we've been in this lockout in the commercial jurisdiction for 15 long months. We never expected to be in a lockout for 15 months. And yet here we are still in a lockout. So it's unpredictable how long their strike may last. Uh, but, you know, it may affect TIFF if it's still ongoing. We'll definitely be watching. Actor President Eleanor Lobel Noble joining us today. Thanks for this, Eleanor. Thank you very much.